welcome to digital electronics lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain you x number system to y number system conversion now if you observe my previous videos where i have already explained different number conversions of different system right now here if systems are given which is not well known system but still we can be able to convert that so that is what i'll explain you by some examples so it will be more clear to you so here we have first question and that question is if you have been given with 3 2 7 with octal number system and question is to convert this into number system with base 5 so how to do this so here to perform this task all we need to do is we need to convert this number system into decimal number system and after that decimal to base 5 conversion can be easily done right so let us convert this into decimal first so to have decimal conversion first of all all we need to do is we need to see what is the power right and base is 8 so here fractional point that is over here so power will be 0 over here then 1 over here then 2 over here and base is 8 so see i am writing it 3 into 8 plus 2 into 8 plus 7 into 8 now see power with 7 that is having base power 0 now here with base power 1 then over here base power 2 is there See that is how we can convert this into decimal number system and if you solve this you will be having decimal value so 3 into 8 square plus 2 into 8 plus 7 into 8 to the power 0 so that is 215. So now we have 215 in decimal. Now to convert this into base 5 system all we need to do is we need to use division rule so here 215 that is there with us with base 5 conversion is required so 215 divided by 5 operation that we need to do over here there will be remainder right so 215 divided by 5 so that is 43 and there is no fractional value so remainder is 0 again we need to divide it, this by 5 so 8.6 so minus 8 0 0.6 into 5 so that is remainder which is 3 over here now 8 is greater than 5 so again I need to do division so 8 by 5 that is 1.6 means 1 is over here and 0 0.6 into 5 so that is my remainder 3 so i need to go in this direction this is my ls msb and this is my lsb so i can say my answer for this that is 1 3 three zero in five so from octal to decimal and decimal to base five conversion that is how we need to perform task let us have one more question so this will gives you a bit more clear idea right so here question is we have number system with base five so one two 3 3 2 with base 4 that is given to us and we need to translate that into base 3 means ternary system right so how to do this so for that first we need to translate this into decimal system and from decimal to ternary system can be translated right so first we need to translate that into decimal system so in decimal system all we need to do is we need to multiply it with power of base right 
so here fractional point is there so power over here that will be 0 power over here that will be 1 over here it will be 2 over here it will be 3 and over here it will be 4 so see 1 into base is 4 so 4 to the power 4 plus 2 into base to the power 3 means 4 to the power 3 plus 3 into base means 4 to the power 2 plus 3 into base to the power 1 plus 2 into base to the power 0. See this is what we need to perform. And now if we resolve this in calculator then you will be finding our final answer. So 4 raised to 4 plus 2 into 4 cube plus 3 into 4 square plus 3 into 4 plus 2 into 4 to the power 0. So that is 446 in decimal. So this translation that is 446 in decimal. Right. Now this decimal that we can translate into ternary by division rule. So now we will perform division over here. So 446 that we have 446 and we need to convert that into ternary right. So we need to divide it by 3 over here there will be remainder we will divide it and we will take remainder from the division right. So 446 by 3 so that is 148 and there is fractional value so minus 148 into 3 so that is remainder so over here our remainder is 2 again we need to perform division by 3 so 148 by 3 so that is 49 point fractional value is there so minus 49 into 3 so that is remainder which is 1 again perform division by 3 so 49 by 3 so that is 16.33 so minus 16 into 3 so that is remainder which is 1 again divided by 3 so 16 by 3 so that is 5.33 minus 5 into 3 so that will be remainder which is 1 again divided by 3 so 5 by 3 so that is 1.66 means 1 is over here and our remainder is 2 in this case right so that is how we can convert into other number system with base 3 right ternary system so here when you calculate this all we need to do is we need to go in this direction where this is MSB and this is LSB right so if I want to write my answer then my answer for this question that will be 1 2 1 1 1 2 in ternary so this is my answer so that is how we can convert any system into any system. So here one thing that we need to remember. When you solve problems with x number system to y number system. This is always one way where given system can be converted into decimal system. And that decimal system can be converted into uh, the question which is there with your system. right? So this is the basic process which one can solve for any question. Right. But if you see my earlier videos, so that is what standard process which we have followed, right? Like when you have octal to hexadecimal conversion, then directly if you go in that way as per this calculation, so this is long, lengthy process. So in that case, it will be easier to convert that into binary and then hexadecimal. So one should understand this. Now here, I'll give you one problem for homework and you write your answer in comments so it will be easier for me to understand whether you understand all those things or not so here i am going to give you one problem see 
you have 5, 6, 2, 1 with base 7 system and convert this into base 9 system. So obviously first you convert this into decimal system and then convert that into base 9 system. I hope that you understand all those things which I teach over here and based on your suggestions and comments in future I will make videos which will resolve your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.